Well, I'm trying to make some uh, supercharger blower studs here. They sell for about uh, $100 or something with this sort of setup. And uh, what I'm trying to do is make them like this out of aluminum. Uh, the threading is set up good. I've threaded a couple here. Um, I need to sort this out whether I'm going to put a shoulder on this nut here or just leave it alone. Um, but basically I'm just going to make a set of eight of these. I get about ten dollars a piece out of these bolts. Uh, and once I get it set up then I'll be able to make a set of these uh, blower pop-off studs pretty easily. So that's what I'm doing. I've got this all set up here for my uh, gears and everything. I've got everything aligned and Delron bushings in there which is a hard plastic so the lathe runs much better. Uh, my cover won't go on it uh, because I got this big banjo bolt here but I may modify that so I can put the cover on it and it'll make it a little quieter but the lathe's running good and it's threading good my little setup here for the the drive seems to be working fine and uh, I'm going to continue and try to make me some more of these bolts now here's two different bolts it's, I don't know how well this camera is going to show it but uh, I actually went too deep on this one and uh, the uh, the threads are very sharp and if you look at this one you can see they're not quite as sharp but uh, basically I've I ruined this bolt uh, It'll go in, it'll screw and everything, but the threads are just way too thin. And uh, it'll probably just strip off. Uh, also, I've got some a uh, threading tool here that I just ground. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Mostly what I've been trying to do is get this lathe to cut threads correctly. And... Uh, but anyway, I'm going to lose that one bolt. I'll have to just be careful and make sure that I thread these things properly. Well, here's one of the operations. I'm cutting off the uh, good bolt. And this is the cutoff tool and I'm just slowly feeding it in. be a little short here. I we'll need to figure out how to thread it better. But as you can see as I just feed in the uh, cutoff tool. It'll just keep on going in until finally the, the bolt is cut off. And then I'll check it with a nut and see how good it is. Now one of the first actions here is to cut this uh, six-sided bar down. I've got it right now on the lowest speed. I'm going to go to about the middle. Yeah, it's, it's cutting pretty nicely. And then I'm going to I'm going to change my lathe speed here to the medium. Yeah, that's much better. It takes a while to cut this down. I'm taking a small cut because it's an interrupted cut. But I'll take this right down to the shoulder of the bolt. I've got my, my insert set in there so it's square. And we'll just uh, continue with this and uh, see the progress as we go. Alright, well we got uh, Got it turned down to fast where it's uh, 
uh, having the end rope to cut, we got straight, straight shaft. So we're going to take off about, uh, and let's see, five, ten, fifteen. That's about thirty thousand on the overall. Uh, gauge the speed. perfectly. I actually ran a, a die over that but uh, <coughs> basically we got a really good bolt. Well here we got uh, three bolts. They're all uh, pretty much the same. I tried them in the and the blower they work just fine and uh, out of that I wound up uh, two bad ones one the threads cut too deep and the other one I turned down too small but uh, three good ones and two bad ones it's actually uh, not too bad for starting to learn what to do here now I can mark my next big uh, 12 inch piece and start cutting some more out well I got a 12 inch bar in here the first thing we're going to do is we mark out how long everything is I left myself a quarter of an inch there for the hole 
and then uh, next thing here next groove is where the threads will go and then of course the head of the bolt so I'll get some good measurements on these marks uh, and then I can make each bolt exactly the same but right now I'm just gonna start running uh, just turning this piece down to where I've got the diameter of the bolt I need well it's cutting pretty good here I'm not taking that big like 20,000 uh, I wound up with a extending the tool out of the chuck a long ways there mostly so I can clear this this uh, holder uh, but the aluminum's pretty soft so I think I'll be okay once I can get this uh, bolt turned here I can always pull this back now well, we're taking off about 20 thousandths Chip moving along fine. Got set on C3, something like that. It's, uh, actually, making a thread. And we'll back her up. Take another 20. Ten thousand per side. Let's keep going until I'm close to where it's at, and then I'll make a finer cut. By the way, I'll show you something here. We're halfway through. I'm at my fastest speed there. I slowed it down to the slowest speed. You can see the difference in the quality of the cut. Easy enough to use a gearbox. I pull this thing out here and then I kill it. Well, now I'll go back to fastest speed. Take another, I'm going to take 15 this time, that'd be 30 total. Just cutting 15 pretty good. Struggling a little. Basically, it's because of that belt. I'll fix that. I'm just going to turn this down tonight. And then uh, I'm going to glue some stuff down here. Put a new belt on it. And take another 20. So, this is all we do just back it up, crank it in, back it up, crank it in. People that know how to run the lathe, it's probably very boring to you. But uh, these are just some of the steps that I'm doing to make this set up lower bolts. Now well, here's our final pass. This should be within a couple thousandths. And if I'm taking the two slow speeds here. Uh, it's fine if it's going to cut, but with the uh, uh, insert, this triangular thing here, that's probably plenty good enough for what I want. Yeah, it'll have a nice shiny appearance and be uniform. It's not like it's a uh, hard steel machine surface. This is what this fine. Well, I JB welded this stuff, which is like a super epoxy. I should clean up. I've got a new belt here. My old one's got a little starting to come unglued. <coughs> anyway, I ordered these belts a long time ago. Uh, they sent me a new one to, to try. Uh, I've got the wrong glue in it. I've got it there's two kinds of glues. One's a rubber glue and one's a nylon. 
nylon is on the inside, rubber is on the outside. My rubber glue was hard, but I put the nylon glue on it. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be strong enough, but uh, if it is, it'll probably make the lathe run a little, a little better, and I can get a little better finish on this, a final finish. Anyway, we're going to fire it up and see if it worked. Well, the new belt seems to be running fine. I'm going to try to push the old one over the top of it and see if that will make any difference. Looks like everything down here is turning pretty straight. No flex. So, and it sounds like it's uh, running better. I can see it wiggling a little, but very little. I'm going to try double in that belt and see if it helps. Well, everything looked good here. Threaded that bolt, cut it off. I've left just a, about a quarter of an inch there on the end to uh, trim the bolt to the right size. Uh, and now I'm just going to start turning this thing down to the correct, correct shaft size. Well, here we have a interrupt cut. I got about 15 thousandths. Not very fast speed or anything. Five, ten, or fifteen thousandths. As long as it's interrupted, I'm going to just take some slow cuts and then uh, I'll speed up the speed here. I've got it set on the lowest speed right now. Well, here on medium speed, it's kind of funny. I left both of these belts on, but uh, the green one's a little longer. That's one of the reasons I just want to get rid of it, is it's causing the pulley there to hit the wall. This one seems to be running fine, and I'm going to turn in uh, 15 thousandths here, and it's taking 15 thousandths, that's 30 thousandths total, it's taking it real nice, I have my speed set at a medium low speed, so So far so good. We can dial in 10 this time just to see the difference in the cut. That's a little thinner cut, but it's not pulling the motor or anything down. Actually that double belt system sort of helps be stronger a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to continue here and I'll get down to a fine cut and I'll show you that. Well here's the final final pass. I got the speed set at the lowest right now. Making a beautiful cut. I haven't checked it yet. But I'm pretty sure this is exactly right. Just a screw anyway. But anyway, it looks like it's, it's doing a wonderful job with it. We'll hog it down real quick. My final pass is going to turn it into a real, uh, real beautiful piece of work. Well, it's 25,000. It's supposed to be 20. So right now this is taking off about 2,000 side. Yeah, it looks fine. Producing a real nice finish. The belt has helped the lathe be much more stable. And I can really see it in the finished cut here. The next step, we set up for threading. Well, here's Mr. Bolt done. Cut to the right length. Right now I'm just cutting it off with a parting tool. Need to adjust my belts here. 
Yeah, there's the finished product. It needs a little cleaning up. But I'm getting this technique down. Looks like it's the easiest to turn one bolt at a time, less tool changes. So I'll make a few more here. I'll try to get a whole set so I can get pictures of them. Yeah, this one's roughed out. I'm doing the final cut now. Within a couple thousandths, which is pretty good for a bolt. But looks like I got the technique down. Well, I'm putting the final touch on these bolt heads. Cleaning them all up here. These thousands. So we have something that looks like this. Make a nice end on it. And here's this one. I grounded it, but it don't look too good. So all I'm going to do is uh, put it in here. Uh, run the lathe up until it touches. Take it out. Lock the carriage. Turn in about two or three thousandths. Get the gauge right down here. And it should be taking a pass across there right now. <coughs> it is, it's so little you really can't see it. So I'm going to stop this. Dial in another five thousandths. Again. Yeah, this should make a clean pass across here this time. Alright, there's eight bolts. All nice and shiny. Almost the same size. Plenty good for what they're supposed to do, which is just hold on a supercharger. And uh, I can put these up now on eBay for sale. It's taken me about a day to do eight. And out of these eight, I got two here that I ruined. This one's too small, plus it's the wrong size, and this one would have been a good bolt, but uh, it slipped out of the chuck and chewed up the edges, so I ruined this one. This is actually a really nice bolt, too, perfect size. I may go ahead and cut this one down anyway, even with a gouge on it, it's still a good bolt. <coughs> 